WaveLab 7 can dramatically improve your audio quality through different editing tasks and plug-in processing. Now, our main view in WaveLab, the audio edit section, we can actually look at our overview of our waveform as well as our waveform here. Now, if I wanted to do more detailed editing, I could easily zoom by taking my cursor to the top timeline and then moving it straight down while holding down the mouse button. And this way I could go directly to the sample level with my resolution there. I can also have different views on my top or bottom. So if I wanted to see my waveform view, which we're probably traditionally accustomed to, or go to my spectrum view, as I can see my harmonic content, or click here on my loudness tab to see my loudness view. There's also a little option right here where we could synchronize the two views together. So now as I zoom, I can see a direct correlation between the audio material in my waveform and my loudness view. So we can see that as the waveform gets softer, we'll see the same indication here in our loudness view. If I wanted to do some simple sample editing, it's very fast in WaveLab. So I could select regions. And if I wanted to go to my process menu, I could come over here, let's do a linear fade in. I wanted to do, let's say, a sinusoid fade out. I wanted to reverse the audio. I wanted to come here. Let's swap the left and right channels. I could also just insert silence. I could also come here and let's say I just wanted to go to my process. Uh, I could time stretch. I could do sample rate conversions. So very, very easy or just change the level. So if I wanted to make that uh, softer or louder, you could just apply. Now, one of the great things is how fast the processing can go on. And we're going to have unlimited levels of undo and redo. So as I play, I could just hit Control or Command Z for my undos and Control or Command Shift Z for my unlimited levels of redo. So very fast and effective. Now plugins are an incredibly popular way to enhance audio sound. So let's say I wanted to take uh, this track here and let's run it through a couple of plugins. Now on my master section, I'm gonna have up to eight plugin slots. Now one of the most popular plugins for a mastering is gonna be multiband compressor. So as I open this up, and what a multiband compressor does is it actually will take different frequency ranges. So I can see my lows, my low mids, my high mids, and my high frequencies, and be able to apply dynamics independently for, based on the frequency ranges. So let me open up. I'll start with maybe a preset. And by clicking here, you can see all of your factory presets. And let's say I just wanted to kind of even a little further boost my highs and my lows. So we'll take this... Uh, track now and we'll go ahead and bypass the plugin and we'll listen to the track and now we're running through the multiband compressor now let's say I want to run it through another plugin like a stereo expander to make it sound a little wider or narrower And I could bypass individual plugins. And let's say I wanted to run it through uh, um, some more dynamics. Uh, one of the great plugins called an envelope shaper. So this would allow me to come over here. And as I adjust this, I could adjust the attack, kind of bringing out the drums a little more, or the length, or a little bit of release. really kind of bring out some of the percussive transients. Now one of my favorite plugins, and this is often good for kind of doing some cleanup work, is what's called a post filter. So if I wanted to come here, I could activate my post filter. And this is kind of a very surgical EQ. So I could kind of find my particular frequencies. I could adjust my Q factor. So let's say there's a, a frequency, maybe a, a tom or a, a buzz in a recording. 
And let's say I, I found that particular frequency and I can kind of augment it here. And then if I actually invert, I could now just simply notch the, that particular frequency out. And one of the great things is if I come here, I could adjust by clicking on my notches, I could adjust the overtone series to basically just notch out particular frequencies. So this way, if I had a 60 hertz hum, I could just simply take that and notch out not only the initial hum, but the overtone series for that hum. So now I could also come over here and let's say I listen to my plug-in chain and, what you and I wanted the envelope shaper to come before the stereo expander. I just simply drag and drop and now what you now if I wanted to bypass all the plugins, let's click right here. So we go back to our original. Now sometimes when you audition in scenarios like this, it can be difficult because when it sounds louder, it's always going to sound better to our ears. So we included something called a smart bypass. And as I look at my smart bypass, what I could actually do is come over here and I could listen to kind of the original audio. I could also listen to the processed audio, but with the same level as the original file. And then with the processed audio with the additional gain that may be induced by the plugin chain. So this way it's very easy to make sure that you're actually listening to the processing is actually improving the audio quality at the same level as the original file. We could also save our plugin chain presets. So if I would really like this combination of plugins, what I could then do is just simply save it as a preset. Now, sometimes we may want to go back and change the file after it's been rendered. So if I wanted to apply these plugins to the audio file itself, I could just click on the render button and I could do a selection or the entire file and I could render and permanently apply the plugins to the actual file. So often what people would do is come over here, have a rendered file and then have a, the original file in case they needed to do some processing. So what we wanted to do was to make it a little easier so that now when we actually save the audio file, that the master section presets are automatically saved with the file. So that way, if you needed to change a particular element in your multiband compressor or your stereo expander or any plugin, you can just simply change that. And the audio, the raw audio file is saved with the actual uh, plugin chain to make it easier. So as you can see, using the audio editing and plugins in WaveLab, you can dramatically improve the audio quality.